Hi, this is Patrick Bello for our webcam studio. I'm going to show you uh, the latest build, which is uh, 318 this uh, tonight. Um, there's a, a lot of bug fi fixes I made on webcam studio, uh, like uh, synchronization, audio, uh, audio feedback, and uh, I had all kind of issues uh, trying to make that work. But uh, I finally got got around the the issues, so I'm getting to a pretty stable version. That that's a good thing. So I'm gonna show you a little bit a tour of Webcam Studio. Um, as you can see, I have the preview here on the, on the left, which is disabled by default. Uh, it's gonna be changed a, a, a little bit a little bit later. Uh, I have the channels here and tab channel here where I can switch a source, and uh, I have my output the record will record to a file. And though this is the view back device. Um, and those are uh, uh, FME broadcasters. Um, pro technically, right now, BAM user and Justin TV are working. Uh, Blog TV and Stickcam, and here, this is Ustream actually, uh, are not working. This, this, there is something with FFmpeg and uh, the FME, uh, the Flash Media server on the other side that doesn't work. So. Maybe I'm gonna try with uh, the latest version of uh, of FFmpeg from the source code to see if uh, something that has been fixed. But right now, only BAM user and uh, uh, Justin TV are working uh, from known service. That I've looked around that those are the one I know of. So basically, um, you have your webcam studio. Webcams are loaded by default. In uh, Linux and Windows, I'm still working on that part. Um, you have the loopback device, which currently is only available in, in Linux. Uh, for Windows and Mac, I have no clue how to do that. So if someone knows about that, you're welcome to jump in. And um, for any source, uh, we have transitions related to the channel. So when you're switching from one channel to another, you can apply transitions. And you have effects like uh, blinking, block, cartoon, and whatever you have uh, chosen in there. So let's start by doing something. So let's start the webcam. So there we go. I'm here. I have a small preview of that source. You can see the audio level also uh, showing up from time to time. Currently, my level is at 50% of what I'm currently recording. But if I go in my mixer, and I'm going to put that to zero so I won't have a, a feedback when it's going to be playing. So let's start the preview. So you can see now that um, I, can, I can see and eventually hear whatever is, go is being mixed by Webcam Studio. So uh, let's put the webcam in the upper left. go so it's in the upper left and uh, let's add a movie and there I have Big Buck Bunny uh, which is free on the internet this is a great project actually uh, it's kind of an open source movie so everybody can jump in and made make some more modification I, actually I don't know I don't have a clue what they do but the movie is great so if I start that movie um, currently both sources are at level zero, meaning that they're gonna show in the same layer. But Webcam Studio is not able to uh, to do that, to have two sources on the same layer. It ha they, they need to be on different layers. So since I wanna have the webcam above the movie, I'm gonna put it uh, at la layer one and keep the movie at layer zero. So if I start the movie, there we go. We have the movie playing, and at the same time, we hear the sound. I don't know if you can hear it through the, the microphone. I'm currently recording the, the desktop with FFmpeg so you could you can see everything. And I uh, wanted to show you if I start and stop stuff, then you're gonna be able to see it. So uh, as usual, for any source, you have the opacity. Uh, let's put that uh, at 50. There we go. So now I'm lagging a little bit because I can see my CPU is getting really high and 
probably this is because of my webcam so I'm gonna stop it because I'm currently recording the desktop so we'll stop the webcam uh, I've implemented some feature in uh, webcam studio where if a source is lagging too much I will stop it uh, for whatever reason since I'm currently recording the desktop and this laptop is not really that powerful uh, it's it's kind of a big issue recording the, this whole screen which is uh, 1600 by 1080, 1080, 1080, uh, 1080 I think it's a really huge screen to capture so um, so we have the movie playing so we can still add text as before there we go so webcam stu studio let's put that layer 2 put that at 24 and quick play and there we go we have the text showing up and uh, if I, I can I, I can uh, add, I'm still missing effects on text but I'm gonna do it on the movie just for fun oh my laptop my laptop is lagging as usual I don't know what's happening it was working perfectly this afternoon so I'm gonna have to wait currently we have a slowdown uh, on the laptop something is coming uh, is happening in the background and probably this is FFmpeg recording at the same time so it has an issue with that as I said my screen is really really large but uh, what will happen is webcam studio will slow down it will try to keep up and it, it, we have the current frame rate so if it slows down to let's say three frame uh, three frame per second then uh, once uh, everything will start to go back normal it will try to keep up so you're gonna see like instead of 10 frames you're gonna see 12 15 frames per second it's kind of going faster just to get back on track and be live with uh, the, the, the the current feed so you don't have to worry about that because if you're recording or broadcasting here uh, users won't actually notice what happens so you have to, to lag for a really long time for this to to uh, screw up your broadcast but when you're looking at it live you can see it's gonna slow down but not that much and in the worst case if a source is actually so slowing down so much uh, it will simply stop so if nothing comes in after three seconds for a source webcam studio is gonna stop it and say hey I don't know what's happening with that source but I'm stopping it it's, it's slowing down it's uh, slowing too much so uh, as you can see right now my laptop is struggling with the uh, video capture I'm currently doing and also playing with web webcam studio at the same time so let's stop that movie and just have sources a little bit easier to handle um, I'm gonna go back with the webcam normally as you can see right now nothing is wor is, uh, is running on webcam studio but, but the capture of the desktop is actually taking a lot of juice so if I start back the webcam which usually doesn't take that much so let's put that full screen again by 240 and then let's play with some effect uh, I added an effect called blink so if I add it it's gonna blink normally not that good for a webcam but um, it's gonna be added for text and other stuff so you're gonna have blinking text if you want to so let's remove that effect other effects are almost the same as as it was before um, another thing I can do also is go into channels darn my laptop's gonna die and um, I can have oh there we go it something happened so the webcam was stuck so you see the message down there La uh, laptop integrated webcam uh, was stuck and the message will stay there for like 10 seconds so you're gonna see that hey something went wrong I don't know and right now nothing is running but I still have my CPU running really high so ah darn that's a good that's a nasty thing anyway uh, let's put some uh, animations as we had before as you can see there at the top so let's try again with that Oh, this time I won't die. There we 
go so I think we're good to go now so I still have effects as before uh, the opacity is at 50 oh because I added that there so um, right now my animation oh is below that's why yeah let's put it on top there we go so I have the webcam running hoping that this time it won't crash so let's say that I, li I like that sitting but I want to have a fade in and a fade out so on this source I'm gonna say uh, webcam uh, fade there so we're gonna wait a little bit because again the laptop is running crazy hope I don't have an update in the background trying to do something and you'll see uh, if there we go we lost the, the, the webcam again it's too slow something happened so probably my Ubuntu setup is having a, an issue capturing the desktop and displaying the webcam at the same time so let's try that again there we go we have the webcam so I have the fade uh, the fade in and the fade out on that source so if I activate that channel there I'm fading out and fading in so I can change that and say I want uh, reveal left and no transition out and I'll call that reveal there we go and let's try that and you can see that I kind of appeared from the left it's gonna be they're gonna be uh, from right from the top and from the bottom and so on but uh, basically right now I have kind of, of a few of them and if I go back to the fade, then I did a fade in those. So some, I, I did it while I was slowing down. So let's wait a little bit again. So my laptop will keep up. There we go. We lost the webcam again. So that, that's something I don't know it's, if it's an issue with my laptop or it's like, like that uh, Ubuntu is running. Anyway, so let's start the webcam again. There we go again. We're, we're stuck. I think my webcam has something wrong. There we go. It's back. So let's, let's go back to reveal. See? I'm appearing from the left. And the fade in and the fade out. There we go. We have a fade in because I didn't have any, uh, any uh, fade out on the other side. So you can mix those together. Resize will... Uh, change the size of the of the uh, uh, of the source or whatever so there, there's going to be more eventually so this is the new webcam studio with all the issues this, this is still kind of in development so there's there can be a lot of issues uh, happening from time to time but uh, I know that I have a hard time recording the desktop on this computer right now like nothing is running almost and I see my CPU usage being really really high for no reason so I'm gonna stop that hoping you uh, you enjoyed that little demonstration of webcam studio and uh, next time I'm gonna try to do the demo from webcam studio itself so hope you enjoyed keep, keep watching and uh, release is coming really 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 soon okay bye